Hi guys, welcome back. My Kermis MH Tutorials, and today I want to show you guys how you can model and texture a realistic looking brick wall. Alright, let's go. So, we're going to start off in our drop down menu in the polygons, and we're going to select a, a simple cube, and we're going to drag that out and create something that looks like a wall, like that. We're going to hit 5 for shaded mode. Just get that a bit positioned, okay, like that. And now we're going to apply some material to it. Now, um, what Maya uh, does uh, by default is assigning a Lambert to it, but we'll just go through that so you know what to do. So we're going to right click on that, go to object mode, right click again, go to assign new material, select Lambert. So the, uh, in the Attribute Editor, your Lambert tab shows up. And if your Attribute Editor doesn't show up, just hit Control A. And in the um, Lambert tab here, instead of clicking on the color to change that, we're going to click on the checkered box here. And we're going to select a file. Just uh, look it up here and then click on File, like that. And now we're going to scroll down in the file one tab, select the folder. And what I did is I just uh, searched for a, a brick template. There we go. A brick template uh, in uh, Google. Just to uh, type in, uh, you know, brick wall uh, texture or something like that. I'm gonna open that. And now nothing is showing up on my object yet. However, if I hit six for textured mode, you'll see that the wall is showing up. Now a couple of problems here. First of all, the bricks are way too big. And second, uh, it's very, very flat and shiny. So it doesn't look very realistic. Okay. So we're going to address that. First of all, I'm going to select my object, right click on it, go to face, select the face. And then I'm going to go up to create UVs, planar mapping, Hit the option box. Make sure you got best plane selected and you know the x-axis here. Don't change any of the other settings here and just hit project. Okay. Now the bricks are looking much, much better, but they're you know they're not in the right position right now. So in the polyplane projection one tab, we need to adjust the uh, the rotation here. So we've got X, Y, and Z and we're going to change the rotation in Y to 90 degrees and hit enter like that. Okay. So now the bricks are the right side up and they are, you know, proportionally better, but still it's very, very flat. Okay. So what we're going to do next is we're going to create a bump map. So I'm going to reselect that face. Okay. I'm going to go to my Lambert that I assigned. And if I scroll down, you'll see bump mapping here. Okay. We're going to click on that checkered box like that. Again, select file. And next to the bump value, you've got this little black uh, point thingy here. We're going to click on that. Again, click on the folder. And we're going to select the same file. So in this case, the one that you, uh, you downloaded, let me see, that was that one. Okay. And I'm going to open that. Right. Now, if you just zoom in on your wall here, right? And in this case, I'm going to go to my renderer and I'm going to go for a high quality rendering like that. If I now zoom in, you can see that we've got a high detailed wall like that. Now that's all there is to it. It's uh, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Uh, hopefully this was helpful for you guys. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.